Hello guys, welcome back to Leo's London Planet. Uh, just very quickly, I just want to remind you that all of the money that I earn from this YouTube channel goes to animal funds, charities, etc. Um, I really, really, really do need some help from you guys. I just want gonna say that thank you for every single person that subscribed. Now at 1,200, and um. I also won this award for naturalists. Um, I'm very happy about that. It just came today. Uh, just remember, let's hit it. Let's start a new um, subscriber goal. Um, 1,300. If we work our way up to 2,000, that would be extraordinary. So please like, subscribe, comment, and ring the bell so you don't miss any of my new uploads uploads and also it's free and today on Leo's and planet we are going to look at octopuses an octopus is a soft body mollusk with eight limbs called tentacles octopuses are from the family octopoda um, uh, which has over 300 species inside that group including squids cuttlefish and nautiloids so the, the Latin uh, scientific word uh, octopus came from ancient Greek. Octo meant eight and pus meant feet, eight feet. Like other cephalopods, um, an octopus is exactly symmetric, uh, including its eyes. And he has a beaked mouth. Octopuses are like shapeshifters they can squeeze through tiny gaps because of their soft body and little fun fact um i actually saw an octopus um uh in south of france on holiday they trail their eight tentacles behind them as they swim this um the siphon is uh, used for respiration and locomotion exactly like a propeller Octopuses have a complex nerve system and DNA system. They have excellent sight and they are amongst some of the most intelligent animals on Earth. Octopuses can be anywhere in the ocean, from the seabed to coral, coral reefs and the abyssal depths. Octopuses are excellent mothers. Life is not easy for octopus moms or females um, because really what they do, they give their life to their babies to protect them. Some species of female octopuses show more care than any, like um, they, they blow oxygen on the, ba on the eggs or the babies so they can oxygenate themselves and they guard them at all times against predators. They keep up with this behaviour until the babies come out. Some octopuses can have up to 100,000 babies. Strategies to protect themselves, um, is, one of them is the ink actually they also use camouflage and threat displays the ability to squeeze out ink and go really fast through the water and hide and squeeze into tiny spots is very very good to keep themselves safe did you know that some octopuses can be venomous um like the blue ring octopus which is absolutely really deadly like really deadly even for humans if predators are attacking them the ink will make it really hard to see and it will make their scent smell really bad and using the time that they have they can run away go and hide or camouflage they have the ability kind of like lizards to be honest they have the ability um to to grow back their tentacles. Isn't that extraordinary? Uh, octopuses have beak-like jaws, like a very, very like a, like a bird's beak, and they also have venomous saliva. It's a common fact that um, octopuses have eight uh, tentacles, but did you know that each tentacle has like one little brain? 
Did you know that octopuses have nine brains, eight in all of their eight tentacles, of course, and uh, the, the brains in their eight tentacles are small, but the one in their face and the body is very large. Like, it's very large. So in total, they have nine brains. Mwah, brain blowing. This enables octopuses to complete tasks with their arms independently. Did you know that octopus arms actually, um, they, they can taste, they can touch, they can move without any direction. Like, it's crazy. Did you know that if, uh, if it was possible to test octopus's IQ, um, the IQ uh, would be way higher than most humans. Like, it would be like 140, which is top IQ. They would also do very well at spatial and visual intelligence. Uh, did you know that octopuses have 500 million neurons inside their big brain? And that's a, it's about the size of a dog. About two thirds of the 500 million neurons is located in its arms, and the rest is located in its big head. Part of this intelligence is that they use tools. And tool usage is very un unusual and very hard to find in um, the animal kingdom, right? But oh, and some birds, oh, um, dolphins, and other creatures but octopuses are better than all of those they are extremely good at tool using they're good at making lots of things and they they create shields with little rocks to protect their dens isn't that crazy they use anything they can find sometimes even bottle caps that they find in the sea which just shows how bad bad pollution is that the most impressive video was made in indonesia 2009 of an octopus making a den uh, shield out of coconut shells did you know that octopuses have three hearts of blue blood the reason why um octopuses have blue blood is because they have lots of copper in their body while we have lots of iron in our body which colors our blood red and if it becomes deoxygenated when an animal dies or something its blood color will turn transparent all three of the octopus hearts have different roles in the body one heart circulates the blood like our oh, the human heart and the other two pump blood past the gills to pick up oxygen when octopuses swim their heart stops beating isn't that crazy and that's why you mainly see them um uh crawling instead of swimming octopuses are able to change their rna and the rna is kind of like dna but really it's just um all of the molecules in their body and they're able to change that to adapt to different situations for example if the water is too cold they could change their rna to adapt to the water octopuses are probably one of the most skilled camouflage artists there are little cells in their body called chromatophores which change their skin instantly and there are these little areas of skin called papillae which uh, they can uh, expand and retract to change their skin textures to camouflage perfectly and did you know that some scientists have actually tried to make some synthetic skin just like an octopus skin perhaps the most impressive of all the soft consumers is probably the mimic octopus not only can it camouflage in the rocks tv stuff like that he can change his skin color and his body shape so he can shapeshift basically the different creatures 
They can take the shape of like sea snakes, live fish and very threatened animals basically. The mimic octopus is extraordinary because he is the only um, creature that we know that can do that can shape shift into such a variety of animals. He is the one and only shapeshifter. Did you know that? Octopuses are so the mimic octopus is so cool that it can literally mimic the style of swimming that some animals do. Did you know that sometimes they walk away on two legs? So funny, isn't it? Did you know that there was a video of where two octopuses, a pair of octopuses, literally um, lifted up six of their arms and only two were there and they were like Squidward walking backwards. And this allowed the algae octopus to basically replicate algae <laughs> and seaweed. Isn't that extraordinary? Octopuses are generally quite antisocial creatures, but in 2012, uh, scientists made an amazing discovery in Australia. And gloomy octopuses have built underwater cities. Did you know that the city was made out of rocks and old clam shells that? That octopuses ate. And did you know that around 15 octopuses live in these cities? And guess what? Scientists call this Octopolis and Octlantis. Did you know that octopuses, some got evicted for fighting in the cities? So they have their own laws basically. Maybe scientists aren't too sure why they are so civilized, but uh, they think that um, it's because of the limited space and because normally octopuses are solitary. You may, you probably already know that octopuses are smart, but did you know that they have their own personalities exactly like humans? They are so so on the mental part they are pretty much like humans bad talk bad story starts very early um so normally octopuses are portrayed as like scary monsters they're portrayed negatively basically books and also films um octopuses that appear in mythology like uh like the kraken in norway and Tuthuli and the gorgon in ancient Greece. And if you're wondering what the gorgon is, it's basically uh, a being that turns stuff into stone. In films, there's like the Little Mermaid, the uh, Pirates of the Caribbean, Doctor Octopus, Voyage to the Bottom of the Sea, 20,000 Leaks Under the Sea. And they're all portraying um, octopuses quite negatively. So, there's a film that did turn this around though called My Octopus Teacher. It's about a human and an octopus becoming friends. I'm not going to tell you then, but it's about an octopus. Uh, it's about a man observing an octopus for a long, long time. Yeah, it's, it must be seen. It's really, really cool. I recommend it. I recommend it personally. I watched it. It was awesome. Octopuses are considered delicacies in some places around the world, like um, Asia and um, the Mediterranean, and some others as well. It's the same thing in every time in France. I see octopus in the sea, and it's the most amazing thing in the world. But uh, then you go to the streets, restaurants, and then you see tons of people eating octopus and squid. Did you know that approximately 350,000 tons of octopuses are, and squids are eaten each year? This is almost 10 times the number of which was caught at the beginning of the century. And the demand is getting higher and higher and higher and this must be stopped. 
and there were plans to make octopus farms in Spain, for example. And if you didn't know, octopus, octopuses are solitary creatures. So the farm in Spain would raise about a million octopuses every year. There is a, a scientist at the London School of Economics um, studying octopuses now um, about and he proved that octopuses feel pain and his name is Jonathan Birch and it led to them being recognised as sentient beings in the UK's Animal Welfare Act. So really it, they would feel tons of stress just some octopuses being near each other feels so painful and so it's so hard for them because they don't like being in crowded areas the tank will just fill up like crazy because of all the um because of all the babies like we said some octopus species can lay up to a, a hundred thousand eggs with all of that all of those octopuses so basically um this will lead to tons of mortality and a figure of 10% mortality is extremely cruel. And you know fish farming, right? It would be terrible because they release phosphates. When they poop, they also produce nitrogen. But the phosphates will pollute the sea even more. So more of this fish farming, the more uh, what bad stuff is gonna happen for the environment. And it's also really bad for the octopuses and the ocean. So there is a petition trying to, loads of petitions trying to stop this, uh, but I'll give a link to one of the biggest ones in the description. And there, don't forget, hashtag stop octopus farming. Anyways, bye guys, hope you had an amazing time. Please like, subscribe, and I would just like to say a big thank you for 1,200. Again, we should try to hit 1300 that's going to be our new sub goal please leave um ring the bell so you always get notified for my next videos bye don't forget don't eat octopus